Hello, welcome. My name is Penn, and for today's review, I will be going over the WeChip W1 2.4 Wireless Multifunctional Remote. This is a free sponsorship product review featuring WeChip. Let's get started. So here is the front and back design. So this is the air mouse. Um, it is a wireless keyboard and also an IR remote. So you can get a sense of the design. Um, has like this slick output on the front and then this simplistic um, keyboard on the back. So if you use the keyboard before or if you recognize the keyboard, you will know that it's not going to feature all of the keys that a traditional keyboard would have. That's why you can have like a FN key for further functionality and it's small and it's compact. So it is easy to navigate with. Now, I spoke to a woman named Jasmine um, from the company and she did want me to warn the potential customers and end users about the compatibility. So generally it's going to work with the Android TV box, a network player, a computer, a home theater PC and smart TV. But when it comes to actual brand televisions like Samsung, Sony, Panasonic, LG, or even the interface of a Fire TV stick, it is reported that it is not supported. So essentially, don't look for this to be a replacement for your main TV remote and for it to completely take over its interface because there are some brands that's listed that is simply not supported. Um, in my testing, I'm gonna be testing this with my NVIDIA Shield Pro 2019, and I'm also gonna be using my home workstation as well. So just a fair warning and some general tips. You can see here what it works with generally and what it don't work with. Now, one of the key things about this device is it's an all-in-one. And what I mean by that is it has the functionality of a mouse, a keyboard, a remote control, and even the aspects of a game controller. So the all-in-one feature set of this device is that you don't have to buy multiple devices the selling point is you can just buy this one device and you can see on the right hand side, it has this perfect touch, the classic double sided full keyboard curve modeling design. And by me having a art and design background, I can say that the design is um, pretty cool. You know, it's um, it's appealing. Um, just when I look at it here on screen, it is something that I may want to get my hands on and I want to like actually use in a real world environment. If you click the FM button, you're able to switch to your special symbols or keys that you will find on a traditional keyboard. Here, you're going to get a sense of the layout and button mappings um, for this device. So you have your general indicator of the power the cursor locking, which is here. You can access your menu with these three lines stacking on top right here. The volume um, going down is a minus, volume going up is a plus. The return um, with this arrow going left. The home button, which shows a house. And it gives you an idea of the um, dimensionality of the device or the remote control that you will have in the real world environment. So, Typically for these reviews, I'm going to be doing an introduction presentation like this. Next will be an unboxing and then a the final phase um, will be a testing and showcase, essentially. NVIDIA Shield and the PC. So let's get started. So let's get started with this unboxing. So this is the WeChip Air Mouse. Here's the package. So this is the wireless keyboard, air mouse, and IR remote. And you can get a sense of the front side of the package. I'm gonna show the model. Model is W1. The color I have is black. It's listed as white and also as other. I'm gonna flip it around. 
something like that and then it shows the back so it just shows you where we're going to be applying it to like i said for testing phases i am going to be using the nvidia shield pro 2019 and my pc and um we're just going to get started now if you need any additional information, it will be in the description as well as the product link and also to their storefront as well. So I'm just gonna get this, get this out. I'm gonna slide it. Okay, it's empty. And what comes in it's a dongle where you will put into your PC or your Android box. So in my case, that's what I'm going to be testing as. It also comes with a nice cable that's packaged as well. Take that out like that. Oh, well, you can get a sense of the dongle here. And you will plug this in to a USB port on your computer or your Android box or any device that is listed as compatible with this device. Just a fair warning and a heads up, okay? Also, let me take out the cable as well. Nicely packaged, um, nice presented design. And of course, I will get to the actual device last. So, slides out like that. Okay, so this is the Wii chip um, design. And I, I have to say, this looks pretty cool, you know, in person. Here's the back. Turn it around for you guys. And um, you can see the keys. Now, at nighttime, um, this could be a little issue. I do not remember seeing documentation about it being a backlit keyboard. Um, of course, in my testing, I can actually find that out. But as far as design-wise and simplicity, um, this is a great-looking device. Functionality-wise, um, it seems to be awesome with my existing setup. And it's a keyboard style that if you had a mini keyboard before or if you use the air mouse, you're familiar with. And if not, it won't take long to actually learn this style of keyboarding. Power button up top, your navigation tools, your okay to enter, you know, um, little mouse icon, your stackable lines, your home button, return button and then volume up and then volume down. So they did a good job on just selling the design. And I like, well, let me turn it this way. I just like this sort of curve to it that adds to it as well. Gives it like a little bit of a futuristic look, but still something that that still, a device that can still like function and look modern today is what I'm getting at. And this is the charging port here. So I guess you will plug in the cable in this spot here. So next uh, we're gonna be doing some testing and um, I'm gonna pull off the plastic on this thing and um, Let's see how this thing goes. Okay, so um, I pulled up my NVIDIA Shield and um, this device was literally plug and play. 
the USB dongle that was included. Um, I have a USB hub attached to my NVIDIA Shield Pro 2019, and I just stuck the dongle in there. And um, you turn on the power with this button here, and it turns on instantly. There's no problems or issues that I've countered so far in my testing. Now, a little bit of a warning. When you do get this product and when you do unbox it, do not expect it to um to be fully charged. You have to charge it. Mine's was like a two hour and some change charge. And you're gonna have like a red light towards the top. And once that red light is completely off, then you know it is fully charged. So I just wanted to bring that up, but this is a plug and play device, um, air mouse. IR wireless um, got the keyboard to it and it is great. So now we want to actually just show you. So it's smooth. You see that I'm navigating through by the video shield fine. Um, if I press the mouse icon in the upper left hand corner, it brings up the air mouse feature. So as you can see, as I move the device around the mouse is sort of going left and right up and down just any direction that um i'm pointing it towards generally I, I would have to say it can take a little bit to get used to but um overall it's pretty cool i definitely um appreciate it and then if you press it again, like that, then a the mouse just goes sort of like off screen or in the last position where you left it, for example. Um, in the lower left hand, it brings up like your three stacks. Some will call it the hamburger menu. You know, that just brings up the settings on my NVIDIA shield. Press back, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go into an application called MB. And I'm gonna go to the search because now I wanna show you the keyboard. So this is nice. Um, essentially, I can start typing away. And I may wanna do, let's say, Uncharted. It's a 4K Blu-ray I got in my collection, folks. Okay, so you see it came right up. Um, another thing that's cool is if I go back to the typing, I can uh, delete that out by pressing the back. And hopefully this is showing fine on camera because I do have to orange it a certain way so that I can see it as well. But uh, the device feels smooth. The keyboard is very responsive. Um, I have no problems with the keyboard. It's, it's a flawless implementation. I mean, it, it just works. It's no slowness. There's no lagging is going on. Um, even when you flip it around and you want to navigate your Android device or any device that's compatible with this thing, it really works. And if you want to access your function keys, you press the F hand here. And then you're going to get this blue light that's going to appear on, on the um, device. And then you can press like your one and two, like for example, there's the one, back that out. And since the FN is still present, you know, it brings up all the additional keys uh, or that you will have access to on a, on a traditional keyboard, for example. And when you press FN again, the, the FN function is turned off and you can now backspace that out and you are good to go. And if you want to do like 
just www.com, things like that. You press that button one time, which is right here. Turn it so you guys can see it. So overall, uh, this is cool stuff. And let me back out here. So to sum up my review on this device, this is an excellent addition to any core cutter or streamers home entertainment media center or home theater. Um, if you have a main device, this is a nice alternative. This can replace your main remote with compatible devices. It just depends on how comfortable you are. And if you want like a all in one solution, this device is perfect for somebody that doesn't want to purchase a separate wireless mouse and keyboard combo. Um, certain functionality of a game controller and if they just want a nice device a nice design something that looks good in your home setup and generally something that's very smooth um no lag and it delivers on performance and everything that i like about this is just simplistic you go to the back, there's your keyboard. There's your www.com. Uh, your FN key is right here to access your special keys. And it just works. So if you want this, the link will be in the description of this video. And I think it's a solid device. Um, you will not be disappointed if you get this for your home theater or your media center setup, even your workstation setup. I think this would be a, a good compliment to. This wraps up this review. Thank you for watching and peace out.